The CEO running his Wakefield company from an attic has a remote work model for all. Andy Freed isn't the kind of chief executive who longs for a fancy corner office, but he also never thought he would be running his company from an attic in Melrose. That's exactly what the chief executive of Virtual Incorporated, a marketing and events business, has done since COVID-19 scattered everyone nearly two years ago. Barrows and subsequent visiting professionals will give several guest lectures each semester in different BC departments and establish connections with students interested in real estate. The late Joe Corcoran, founder of Apartment Developer and owner Corcoran Jenison Koss, launched the BC Centre with the goal of better preparing students for real estate and economic development careers. Business lobbyists such as Chris Anderson are not happy that the description of the so-called millionaire's tax balance question has been written to imply the new revenue from the proposed tax on high earners will go only to transportation and education courses. State Representative Russell Holmes learned an important life lesson at the new Chase branch in Mattapan long before Chase moved in.